today. I'm going to be comparing the Bufwang UV5R, renowned by ham radio operators worldwide as the best handheld radio you can buy. I'm going to be comparing it to the rugged RHR5, which is blue. For a long time, I thought that these two radios were the same. But now that I have grown and matured, I have learned that they're very different. And I'm going to explain these very important differences to you, my favorite viewer. Now, some people, some people hate the rugged radios more than even the UV5R, which is hard to believe. And some people, some people will cry like spoiled little girls saying that it's illegal to use either of these radios without a ham license. And that is simply not true. Neither of these radios is illegal. They're not illegal to purchase. They're not illegal to own. And you can listen to anything you want perfectly legally. No license of any kind is required to just listen to either of these. But transmitting on either one of these without the proper FCC license would violate the FCC rules. Rules and regulations not laws. The Bufwang UV5R is a ham radio. And to transmit on any ham radio, including the Bufwang, without breaking the FCC rules, you need a ham license. And even with a ham license, you are limited to transmitting only on the ham bands. Transmitting on a Bufwang UV5R on other bands, such as GMRS, even if you have a ham license, would be also a violation of the FCC rules. Rules and regulations not laws. The rugged radio, from what I can see and understand and the way I interpret it, falls under part 90 of the FCC rules and regulations, which means you may only transmit under the authority of a business license and only under the specific frequencies that that license operates and only in the specific geographic location also authorized by that business license. For example, I am authorized to operate under a business license in this geographic location, which allows me to transmit in the 468 megahertz range. So I can do this. Breaker, 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 breaker. Does anybody hear me? Perfectly legally under the authority of my FCC business license. Anyway, Rugged did get into trouble a few years ago, and they did receive a mean letter from the FCC for the way that they were marketing their radios. I'm not sure what they changed, but they're still selling their radios. Boofwang also received a mean letter from the FCC because their radios were not complying with all of the FCC regulations, rules and regulations not laws. And if Boofwang wanted to continue selling their radios in the United States, they had to make some changes, which they did. So now on the newer UV5R radios, you cannot transmit outside of the ham bands, which means you can no longer transmit on GMRS frequencies with a UV5R. So let's compare the two radios. The UV5R costs between $25 and $45, depending on where and when you buy it. The rugged RH5R costs $85 and it's blue. Now, one thing that I should point out is that Rugged is now selling the RHR5R V3, which costs $85. This is a V2, slightly older version. So everything that I'm talking about applies to a V2. I don't think they've changed very much between the V2 and the V3, other than the case is slightly different, slightly prettier it's still blue. But everything that I'll be showing you today is on a V2. It may not apply to a V3. If it doesn't, I'm sure someone will leave a comment and let us know. You can see that both radios look very similar. The button layout is pretty much the same. The UV5R has a flashlight. The Rugged does not. Same buttons along that side. Same opening and same connectors on both for connecting a external microphone or a programming cable. They both use the same battery and the batteries are actually interchangeable. Upon close inspection, you will see that the buttons, although the layout is pretty much the same, the buttons and the labeling is slightly different. The rugged has a F button. The UV5R has a VFO memory button. This acts as a menu button instead of the menu button here on the UV5R. 
They both have an AB button for switching between the upper and lower frequencies. The UV5R has a band button. And the channel up and down arrows are here on the rugged and here on the UV5R. Very similar button layouts. The voices of the two radios are slightly different. Power on. That's Mrs. Rugged. Frequency mode. And that's Mrs. Baofeng. The UV5R has 40 menu options. You can see that's as high as it goes before it turns around back to menu option number one. The Rugged has 25 menu options. You can see it only goes up to 25 before it turns around back to menu option one. The screens are pretty much the same. I would go so far as to say they are identical as far as the LCD screen. They obviously both come from the same child labor camp somewhere buried deep in China. Both output four or five watts. Both are repeater capable. Both do split tones. Both do wide band and narrow band. As far as transmitting and what they can transmit, they're pretty much the same. The UV5R comes empty. No pre-programmed frequencies or channels. The Rugged comes pre-programmed with racing teams, pit crews, basically that kind of stuff. That's one of the main selling points of the Rugged is that it comes pre-programmed with racing frequencies and it's blue. Both are compatible with Chirp. At least the V2 is. Remember, this is the V2. I do not have a V3. If the V3 is not compatible with Chirp, someone will leave a comment and let us know. And using Chirp and my Wuxin Ocean programming cable, affiliate link below, I was able to read all the frequencies so I could see what frequencies were in there. I was able to change the frequencies, change the channel names, I was able to add channels, add repeaters. Using Chirp, I can program any frequencies, any repeater, pretty much anything I want. On the UV5R, I can do all those same things in Chirp. I can add frequencies, add channels, add repeaters, change channel names, and so on. However, I can also do all of those things on the keypad, should I choose to, just by typing them in, punching them in, and saving them. I cannot do that on the Rugged. The Rugged does not allow you to save or change any frequencies. Pretty much doesn't allow you to save or change anything on the keypad. About all you can do on the keypad with this is scan and change the channels. On this, I can do all the programming by hand. I can also change system settings. There's uh, system settings, not very many, but, but there's system settings on the radio that you can change on the keypad or in Chirp. I cannot change any of those system settings on the Rugged, not even in Chirp. It is locked down. The only thing you can change are the frequencies, the channels in Chirp. You can't do that on the radio, as previously mentioned, and scanning options. Very, very limited in, in what you can do either on the keypad, which is basically nothing, or using the Chirp software. So if I'm out on the trail and my friends say, hey, quick, go and listen to frequency 462575, I could just punch that in and I could listen. If my friends said to do the same thing on this, I would stand there and stare at them like a moron because I could not do that on this radio. I, in the field, out adventuring, I can only listen to what was already programmed in there. I could have programmed it beforehand using Chirp if I knew in advance that I was gonna need that frequency. But out in the field, in the heat of adventuring, I'm stuck with whatever's in there. Now you're probably asking yourself, but what does it all mean? It means, the UV5R can do everything that the Rugged does for $30. The Rugged cannot do everything, cannot do much of what the UV5R does. It's like a hobbled version of a UV5R for $85. However, one very important point is it's blue. It also comes pre-programmed, conveniently pre-programmed with some frequencies that you could also just program yourself in this radio. That's it. That is the very simplified version of the difference between these two radios. So which one did you buy? Did you make the right choice? Leave a comment, let everybody know. Or if you hate either one of these radios, leave a comment and tell us why. And be sure to add extra hate.